So guess what I did this weekend? I built a chip shell. Sort of like Justin Rhodes, but not exactly. Um, this up. Got a automatic door on it. Door up and set it on a timer. So it'll open and close. You can either have it set for daylight to dark or on a timer or open and close it like that or with a remote like a key fob. Um, you can plug it in. You plug it into 110 or you can run it off the battery. So what I did, I just, I got a bunch of Milwaukee batteries. So I just bought a uh, adapter for, that's uh, actually for all uh, them big wheels or whatever they are, them like them power wheels battery powered cars for kids is what that's for I bought it and wired it to this so it works works that way um, on the inside here if you look if you come in a little closer and look in here we got one inch one inch mesh in the bottom so that your poop goes through and purchase should work good for them like that um, we got a dust bass there in the corner it's just sand in it hopefully that works good for them um, the ramp, the ramp actually just sits there. So when we when we go to move it, and I got a prop stuck up here, but that's it works pretty good. It's a little heavier than I wished it was, but, but it works pretty good. So then when we go to move it, we can just take this off and throw it up on top. Um, if you follow me around the back side, it's got, got no flat wheels on it. Um, I've got the handle carriage bolted in, so it's pretty stable. Um, back here, I got a, I need to get a latch. I just got a screw in there for now, but I took it off. And I just got old milk crates to pull out, and then that'll be the nesting boxes. We'll put hay or straw or something down in them. Actually, we won't even put these in. We won't even put these in until probably mid, mid to late July. You don't want them in there before they start laying or they'll think that's the bed. They need, to, they need a bed in there. So we'll take those out for now. Um, and I'll just stick that screw back in we'll get a latch. And then I got these two blocks because the wheels because the wheels are so far in the middle that if you go to lift the door the lid it'll want to tilt back so I just made them blocks and throw them up on top when we go to move it too. Um, got a little bit of an overhang on the end which I really wouldn't need. To, I'll probably put some kind of gutter on here and get the rainwater off of it. So, we have that one inch mesh everywhere around the whole the whole thing except for where the nesting boxes are we got it everywhere behind all this metal um i did that just for extra protection then if it gets really hot or something we can take one of these panels off and let a little more airflow through but they should have pretty good airflow <laughs>
who's going to be the first brave soul. I, I put them in there like that so they knew where their home was for the night. So hopefully, hopefully they know to go back in there this evening after when it, before it gets dark and we can shut the door. Um, don't know which one's going to be the bravest, bravest one first. It, also, we wrapped. This is a hundred foot fence. Um, we just wrapped two times everywhere, but it's three times around the part of it. We did that so they can't get through it. They still can earlier today when we had it on without the chickshaw in there. They would still get out of there. But it's all that, all the wood and the metal on that I got. All the wood I gathered up old crates from work, and all the, and the steel I got off of, off of an Amish friend of mine. He had a lot of it there, so I got it off of him. The screws was just screws out of the boards and that that I took apart out of the crates. The only thing we bought was the uh, hinges for the main lid and the wheels. That was it, and the and the wire mesh we put around it. We bought that. Everything else, everything else was scavenged from the door. We bought the door. We scavenged most of it. I don't know if it's worth it or not. And the steel definitely is, but the boards I don't know. I'd tear crates apart to use it. I could have probably bought lumber and saved myself a fair bit of time. All right, we got the chickens out. We got them in the chicken tractor. You've seen us moving around, get the chickens in there. You've seen us chase the chickens around, but we got them in there anyways. So uh, we're gonna do the thing, and hopefully we get them in this evening easy enough so they find their own way back in after it took them that long to come out of there. But um, so anyways, till we meet again, take care and God bless.